Every day I wake up early in the morning and the first thing I do is just to look myself in the mirror and ask questions. Am I skinny enough? Is my skin clear enough? Do I look like the girl from the magazines that I was reading yesterday? No, I don't. But I'll keep asking this question because it's something that the media tells me to look like. So today, boys and girls all over the world are heavily affected by the beauty standards that the social media promote to the public. The social media shouldn't be allowed to promote uh, the beauty, certain types of the beauty standards because it can have adverse effects on the uh, beauty images, on the body images of the young individuals and moreover, most of the time beauty standards are unattainable, which means they are, can be achieved. However, there is a way how we can avoid it. The beauty standards that are promoted on the internet can have a lasting effect. Uh, on the young individuals, so that is why it's important to know its effects and the ways how we can avoid it. To illustrate, according to the study that has been conducted by the Florida Experience, Health Experience, which is healthcare institution in 2019, uncovered that both men and women compare themselves, uh, compare, compare their bodies with the images on the internet. So the um, study itself involved more than 1,000 men and women, and it has actually found out that 87% of women and 65% of men compare their bodies to images uh, that they consume on traditional and social media. When I turned 15 years old, I also used to actually look at some of the um, pages of the beautiful models, so dreaming to have the same figures as theirs. As a result, I, I began using the most extreme ways in order to lose the weight. And the, consequently, I got a severe stomach ulcer, anxiety and stress that have left to the long life depression for three months. And I'm still suffering from this bad experience even nowadays. This invaluable experience has shown me the importance to listen to your heart and hear yourself instead of paying attention to what is imposed on the internet. It proves the point how it's, uh, it proves the point that the retouched photos on the internet affect how the viewers see themselves. There is a clear evidence that the health and mental issues have a direct correlation to the media. So boys and girls who actually trust the social media as a credible source are more likely to develop the uh, health issues such as the stomach ulcer, eating disorders, anxiety, depression, and etc. So how can we avoid this toxic dictation of the internet and brands altogether? While we are not able to um, stop the promotion of the beauty standards on the internet, we're able to put in restrictions on it and we're able to use the social networks in order to promote the body positivity movement. Social networks such as let's say the Instagram, Twitter and other networks can be used in order to promote and influence to the positive beliefs of their users. Uh, by blocking the body shamers, they can actually reinforce the confidence of men and women all over the world. And by promoting the videos of lifelong struggle with the weight, they can motivate other people not giving up their dreams. To illustrate, according to the Sarva Gervois, PhD of Psychology, today illustrated Instagram has the ability to empower the users because the platform has made eating disorder keywords and hashtags unsearchable. So when the search terms are excluded, people are more likely to focus on healthier representations of bodies on social media. So recently I decided to actually write one uh, the post on my Instagram page in order to actually collect some information and to hear what my followers and what my friends will um, write about this topic. So I asked them questions such as like, what is beauty uh, for you and how do you think uh, can we use the social networks in order to promote the body positivity movement? and. I found out that most of them actually agree with me and most of them told that it's important to use the social networks in order to improve and develop the topic of the positivity movement, of the body positivity movement, because it can be a very effective tool. So um, today, uh, social media includes individuals of different race, gender, so sexual orientations, thereby focusing on breaking the stereotypes and building the communities where all people will support each other. Okay, so how the future will look like if we implement the solution? So the firstly, the body positivity oriented post on Instagram will boost the self-esteem of women and men all over the world.
To illustrate, according to the Path Daily, editor and manager of the USA Conversation, study that she had recently conducted find out that a brief exposure to the body positive Instagram post uh, resulted in improved body image and mood in young women compared to idealized and appearance neutral posts. And moreover, by promoting the videos with lifelong struggles with the bodies, with the weight, it can actually encourage other people and motivate them to use safer and healthier lifestyles, such as using the health diet, healthy diet, or let's say the exercising in order to lose the weight. So when the social media will be able to use their platform properly and in order like to promote the reality and the peculiarity of each individuality of each person, then the problem can be solved. So now I really urge you to join the body positivity movement. Uh, where you can share your own stories or the story or read the stories of the other people. So believe you can encourage, you can encourage other people to love yourself and to love your body. I will send the link of the this site uh, after my speech ends. Okay, so let's recap what we learned today. So first of all, we talk about the necessity of raising this problem. Secondly, we talk about the way how we can avoid it. And thirdly, we talk about some merits of the solution. So the media idolizes certain beauty type and their standards affect the, the mental and the physical condition of the young individuals all over the world. However, within the last decade, the um, body positivity movement became uh, a very mainstream idea that is proving to have a very positive effect on its viewers. So join the party positivity movement in order to overcome the uh, virtual uh, existence that actually dictate, us, dictate everything about us. The body positivity movement will help you to define your own beauty. The choice of letting social media affect you is purely your own decision. Honestly and frighteningly, there are only two options. Either you will take the control or you will be the slave to the deadline of the cruel beauty expectations. We are all perfectly imperfect and all itself is beautiful. Thank you.